Hello everybody. Today I am bringing you a new old video. <laughs> I thought I had lost this video, but um, yeah, I found it in pieces and I put it together and here we go. So I'm using th only three colors of paint along with a base coat of ocean blue. I'm using three metallics, bright red, pearl white, and ice blue. And then for highlighting, I am using extreme glitters. I'm using red, hologram, and turquoise. After we're done painting, I'm going to give it a clear coat, a matte clear coat, uh, to preserve it. And we're going to bling it up with some of these little flat back crystals. I'll try to find them in Amazon and put a link down below. So I started by putting, uh, after I base coated in my ocean, uh, Waverly chalk. I put a, um, a guideline just around the outer edge and um, I put random lines. Most of you all know that watch my videos um, and if you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that when I put out new videos you'll be notified. Getting back to the stone. So the, the three guidelines that I have there, lines, I don't know what I'm doing when I get started. So I just throw some lines in there just to give me kind of an idea of where I am and something to work towards. My patterns are not pre-planned. So anyhow, the first one, uh, the top circle there, when I measured it out, it's actually a one inch radius. The second one is like one and a half to one and three quarter inch radius. And then the other one, is, the last one down the girdle is just drawn around. And um, my, my center dot is like a six and a half millimeter uh, circle. It's a flat back of, the, of a crochet hook. Now what I'm using and what you're going to use if you plan to follow along with this pattern, and I hope you do, uh, it's going to be different because you're probably not going to have the same stone as me. You probably, you could be doing this on a canvas. You could be doing this on a piece of wood. You could be doing this on a huge rock. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to depend. So don't get hung up on sizes of tools and uh, that kind of thing and measurements and all. Just follow the pattern and you know, change it up a little bit, make it your own. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of something to do and how not to get too worried about size and shape and uh, continuous lines. And, I, you know, I like the freedom of doing what I want to do when I want to do it. And I want you to do the same because it's, it's a lot more fun than stressing out over, you know, it's my are my swooshes straight? Are they crooked? Are they all alike? You know, that's fine for somebody that has that kind of patience and that kind of an eye and that kind of a talent. I don't have that. This is what I can do. And so you can see that I've just done a couple of series of swishes and some dots and uh, some little squiggly walking of dots, which I really think are kind of cool. They look like little fireworks going off there. And I'm working towards that first guideline. Not for any particular reason, just because it was there. I'm kind of walking, uh, working out towards it. So you want to find a freedom in your painting and in your designs. You can see that my swishes are not even. They're not all alike. So now this swish here is a little bit thinner than the last one was a little chunky. But does it really matter? I don't think so. All right, so here, here I want to get into a little bit of detail. I'm putting these little white dots following the, uh, following that first outline circle, the one inch uh, radius circle. And I didn't bother to count. Now, those of you that have watched my other videos know that I like to do things in even numbers. So when I'm putting dots around the circle like this, I should have counted so that I could have an even number. An even number gives me the opportunity to go in between every other dot from the row above. In other words, when I was doing the red row, the red dots, I could have gone in between every one of the white from above and come out with an even amount. I didn't have an even amount, so when I put the red dots in, I just laid them out and made sure that I had an even amount. So when I came back for the third row of the ice blue that I just finished, 
I was then able to put those ice blue ones, as you can see, in between every other red dot. So it worked out for me that way. When you're working with small dots, you can kind of make it work for you. If I were working with larger dots in a bigger pattern, uh, that wouldn't work. I would have to redo it. Uh, it would be too obvious. This way here, you can't even tell. Okay, so now I'm doing some off-centered top dots, and I like to do the off-centered ones, and I, that brings the eye up and towards the center. Later on, I'm going to do some on the bottom part, and I'm going to go the opposite way, and that'll be to draw the eye away. Right. Now, here, I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do? What, what, what effect do I want? And I'm thinking, I want to find something that's going to make it look a little lacy. And how am I going to do that? Well, I started by putting a dot underneath the, um, the, the blue one and one in between. And I wasn't quite sure. So you can see at the beginning that I kind of went back and forth and I didn't, real, didn't really know what I wanted to do. But now I've gone ahead and I've just put a, a larger dot underneath the blue and then the second dot up in between the two blue just automatically becomes a little bit smaller. So it's almost like walking two dots, the larger one below and then the second one above. Now following this uh, second guideline, I'm just putting one dot above the line and then I'm offsetting the next dot below the line just a little bit over to the right. And that's giving me a zigzag pattern. Now I went back up to the top to fill in a little bit of space there. I do this often. I go back and forth and kind of jump around. And here I'm actually using, it's a folk art flash. I think it was purple, purple flash, color change paint. And after I'm done, I, I, you'll see that I am going to put some um, glitter paint on top of it. And I didn't even mention it in the colors because afterwards this purple is, is going to look just like the blue. So if you're using blue, just stick with the blue. The purple I thought was going to look different, but it really didn't. So it's really, you know, not even worth mentioning this past three minutes that I've been talking about it. <laughs> so this top swish that I'm bringing straight down, that's just to bring everything together. Now the white that I'm going back over again here, when I first put them down, you can see they're very uneven, and I didn't stress about that because, again, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But then I realized that I really wanted them to be a little bit more prominent. So by going back over them with a little bit more paint, I just made them a little bit bigger, and the small dots in between, I'm going back to just even them out. Now I'm thinking again, still, it, even though it does look a little bit lacy, it's still not quite enough. So I go back over that little dot in between the two blue and I drop another little white one underneath the other white one. I, it's not making any sense what I'm saying, but if you just look, you can see what I'm doing. Now I have the red metallic and I'm just dropping a dot in between each one of those white ones, uh, the, the top row of the white one on the third row down. Here's where I'm going back on the white and I'm putting another off-center top dot in red on the, the bottom white dot and I'm pushing it facing down. This is what I was saying before. I was saying I put them up towards the, the center to draw the eye in. Now I'm putting them on the outside facing down and that's because I want your eye to go down and around, not keep you coming up because we have to finish it off somewhere. So now I'm using the turquoise glitter paint and I'm going over all of my uh, blue dots at this row. Now it's called turquoise. I don't know why it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful color, but it, to me it's blue. <laughs> it's just a really pretty blue. Um, but if you look, on, look for it in the store, it's turquoise. And I'm doing the blue, uh, again, the turquoise up on the blue swishes in the top row. And eventually I'm going to come back with the uh, glitter paints. The red metallic will have the red glitter paint, the blue will have the turquoise glitter paint, and the white will have the hologram. 
So I'm adding the red glitter paint to all of my little red dots up the top there. Well, almost all of them. Really, you just want to put it wherever you want it. Uh, sometimes I get really crazy with glitter paint. I like it. If you put it on real heavy, it's going to stay cloudy, so don't do that. Just dot it on normally as you would any other paint. It does dry clearer and leave just the color. So you'll see now it's looking like I'm putting white, almost like a glue on top. It will look red after. Now this is the hologram. I use hologram a lot. I use it on top of the white. Okay, so you can see here I'm just going back and I'm putting the uh, pearl, giving it a little more definition. So those little outer dots there, that's hologram I'm putting. And I believe I on the other ones I was redotting the uh, pearl. And now with the red glitter paint, I'm highlighting those red dots down below. The red on the blue in between the white ones there, they were fading into the blue, but now um, into the ocean blue. Now they're going to stick out a little bit more. Now around the very outer edge of the stone, I wanted a finishing point. And so I'm using a wooden skewer. I buy a package of them from the dollar dollar straw, the Dollar Tree. Uh, they're long wooden skewers that you would use soak and then use them on your grill to do shish kebab or whatever. But I use the back of that. It makes a nice little dot. So I've done that all around the bottom and I'm going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm just coming up and I'm highlighting that space. I'm just putting a little dot of white on the first row around that first collar. I didn't quite get that lacy look that I was looking for. So on this row, the second row, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's a little hard to see at this angle, but I'll show you in a second. What I've done is on the left and the right of each of the larger dots, I put another little dot. On the bottom, I have a large dot, then I have a small dot, and then underneath the white, I have a bigger dot. <laughs> Oh God, I can't explain it. It just doesn't make sense, but you can see what I did. All right, so now I'm going around and I am putting a swish. I'm just swishing on the side of every other uh, large dot. And I'm going to come back after and I'm going to do the other side because I had an even number. I was able to do the two together. So if you count your circles around, on that bottom and you make it an even amount, you'll be able to just do the one to the left and one to the right coming into the center. Then I put a red dot just to hold them together so they're not floating away from each other. What do I want to do? Do I want to do another little lacy thing or do I want to do something that's going to look like a little tail? I think I like that better and I'm going to get rid of the other one. And I'm going to put a larger dot and then just walk some other dots down, just kind of, you know, as I go, and not really worry about them being even. They actually, to me, they look like little butterflies and their little butterfly tails. On the white, I top, top them with hologram. And then in between all of the sets, I just took a big uh, dollop of the blue, the turquoise, excuse me, and put it in between. And then I put a little dot of the turquoise on the top, center of the V. I think it looks like a little butterflies. <laughs> so now I'm just taking a wet Q-tip and I'm going around and cleaning up my chalk lines, my pencil marks, and um, making sure it's nice and clean. Now I'm using this Judykins glaze and I'm going to use it as a glue. And I've decided that I'm gonna put some red uh, little crystals on those four elements. And now I'm putting the blue crystals and four clear on the remaining elements. Now on the first collar, I decided that it would be kind of pretty to put crystals all around there. So that's what I did. Now for the center, I couldn't decide, do I want crystal clear center dot? Do I want red? Do I want blue? I don't know. When I 
couldn't find the video. I took the stone, I put it aside. I hadn't put the uh, center stone in and I just left it. But when I found the video, I decided to glue in the last stone and I went with the red. So let me know what you think. Please leave your comments and questions below. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit that bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.